Well, hello. Let's get some dinner going. I am, I've already sprayed this little baking dish. I'm making just like a small portion. Not, I, a lot of times I'll do like the whole 13 by nine baking dish and I'll use the whole package of sweet Italian sausage um, and more potatoes, but I'm just making a small portion. So I am going to cube up these potatoes. All right, so now I'm gonna put some onions in. I usually like to have onions already prepared and kept in the refrigerator. I have some that's sliced and some that are chopped. And you can do either sliced or chopped. I think I'm gonna do some of these sliced pieces of onion. You can even combine it, which I might even do that. I'll give just a little handful of sprinkling. Then I'm gonna take the Italian sausage casing and then you just squeeze it out into pieces all right so I ended up using two lengths of this Italian sweet Italian sausage then I'm gonna put all this you can do by taste now you can kind of mix it up and do your own thing too if you don't want salt I'm not going to put a whole lot of salt. The sausage has some. But, you know, potatoes will need a little salt, in my opinion. But, you know, I like my salt. So I'm going to do salt, pepper, oregano leaves, paprika, parsley and uh, garlic powder. Okay, so here's the basil. Oregano. Paprika. Right, and then you're gonna bake this in a 400 degree oven for one hour. You're gonna turn it halfway through and the last 15 minutes, we're gonna come back and add uh, some frozen peas. All right, so I've got it out of the oven. We're gonna flip it, stir it up some. Alright, so now it's time to put in some frozen peas. All 
All right, so now we've got it out of the oven. You don't have to add peas if you don't want to, but it just makes it so much better. You can serve it with um, a side salad, bread. I'm just having I'm just having cantaloupe with mine today. All right, thank you all so much. Bye.